for this, our main event of the evening. Stevens is six years his senior. Rodriguez is two inches taller. The reach is identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah! El Patera Rodriguez! And now, Kibishi's opponent fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Jeremy Little Heba Steve. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Here we go. Not the fight during which to go grab a beer. Here is the Mexican team of Yair Rodriguez. He has really helped the UFC barnstorm into Mexico largely because of his fighting style. This man is nothing if not entertaining. The opposition doesn't know what's coming. We will see how Yair Rodriguez approaches this, the biggest fight of his MMA life. Oh, working well off of that jab. Beautiful attack to the body by Rodriguez. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Stevens. Try to establish that jab. Rodriguez gets caught by the inside leg kick. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Left kick to the body. Watch it. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? He's got here. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Wow! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Pass here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning oh, here is he on an the ground. Active pursuer of the submission. He's looking for the triangle choke here. What he wants to do is he wants to pin one of his opponent's hands to his chest, then throw the leg up. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Yair Rodriguez. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And he connects there. Posture's up. Big shot. Stevens gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Good exchanges from both fighters. How about that shin? This could be it! Oh! 
So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, beautiful. So oh, a strong oh. five minutes oh. down. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Yair Rodriguez. Big knockdown. Very important, significant damage. Probably won the round. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer in the building. Here we are, early round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Stevens gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice stiff jab. And there he swung with a haymaker. Front kick to the body by Rodriguez. That leg kick lands. Oh, both men exchange. He transitions to the tie clinch. He's got the plum here. Foot stomped by Yair Rodriguez. That knee might have landed there. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Rodriguez got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Works from his back now. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Just over two minutes to go. Lands a punch there, Joe. And speed, man. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination. That oh, one appeared to stun him. He just threw a haymaker. He's got him right here. Oh! oh. Man, has his chin been tested early. Seconds now to go around. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh, oh he's limping. This punch and results in a knockdown. Let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Ready. 
Third round underway. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage early. Man, I can watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Stevens. How about that chin? Oh, and he lands another punch there, Joe. You can tell he's... Whoa! He's hurt here. Shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Hard left. Three minutes to go in round three. Rodriguez inner thigh starting to bruise up pretty good now. Really missed with that right hand. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Rodriguez. They clinch up. Oh, he's got a good boy Thai clinch here, Joe. Look at that. Nice. Huge elbow. Big there. elbow lands to the head. He's hurt. Oh, he's getting hit. Body kick. Look at that. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not at all. Oh, nice. He's in trouble right now. Oh, very nice. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. He's trying to hang on. Oh, oh another shot. He's hurt bad. He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Huge kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension behind it, and his opponent had absolutely no chance after that weapon was thrown. A perfect land and perfect execution to get the knockout with that kick here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Great angle here. Boom! And that's all she wrote. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest. At four minutes, 20 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout. Yeah! El Pantera Rodriguez! All right, so Yair El Pantera Rodriguez all smiles after this one, and why not? And when he puts all the skills together as he did here tonight, not only is he one of the more exciting fighters on the roster, but he looks the part of a guy who could compete for a UFC featherweight championship. He has certainly learned from his setbacks, which have been few and far between, and that was maybe the best Yair Rodriguez we have ever seen here tonight.